This is a summary video part two. We're just going to do this last example here together. Um, so we've already actually done this in a previous note, but I just want to review it with you quickly. The word problems we're not going to do in this video. We've already done them as well in previous videos. So you can go and try those videos, out, those problems out yourself um, in the previous videos. Just to make sure you understand how to do them. Um, so in this question here, we have a quadratic relationship, x squared minus 4x minus 5. Um, and we want to find what this is in the vertex form and then sketch the graph by hand. Um, so we're going from standard to vertex. Let's get that selected there. Standard to vertex. At this point, you haven't really learned a technique to go from standard to vertex, but we do know how to go from standard to, um, to factored form. So let's do that first, and we'll see why. So let's go from y is equal to x squared minus 4x minus 5. And let's convert that into its factored form. y is equal to, open the brackets there, um, x squared. Okay, we need to find some uh, whose product is minus 5. When you add them up, the sum would be negative 4. So it seems like x minus 5 and x plus 1. Um, so that's our factored form here. Um, and there's no number in the front over here or over here in front of the x squared. So what that means is our a is equal to 1. So we have a little bit of information here. a is equal to 1. We also have our factored form. And we want to put this in our vertex form. So we want to put this in the form y is equal to a x minus h plus k squared here. Um, we have a, we just don't have h and k. Remember that parabolas are symmetrical. So you can actually find your vertex because your parabola, your vertex would be basically right in between the two zeros that you have. So for example, if I had a parabola that looks something like this, the zeros are here and here, the vertex would be in between them. So the x value for the vertex would be here and the y value would be here. So we'd have h, k, like that. So in other words, what you need to do is you need to find the midpoint between the uh, zeros. Your x is equal to 5 and x is equal is equal to 1, uh, to negative 1. So that's what we'll do now. We will find our vertex h value by saying that the x is going to be equal to the zeros added together, so um, minus 1 plus 5 divided by 2, which would be 4 over 2, which is 2. So what that means is that the um, vertex x value, in other words, the h, is equal to 2. And to find the k, all I have to do is take this 2 here and plug it into my standard form or my factored form to see what that would be equal to. So to find k, I'm going to take y is equal to 2 minus 5 times 2 plus 1, which is equal to negative 3 times 3, which is equal to negative 9. So what that means is my vertex is 2, negative 9. And now I can go and fill in this equation here. So I don't have a lot of room here, but fill in the equation, I would have y is equal to, we know a is 1, so I don't have to write it down, x minus our h value, which is minus 2, squared, and then minus 9 for our k. And so what we found is our vertex form, x minus 2, squared, minus 9. We first took the standard form, converted it to factored form. We know that the vertex is in between the um, zeros is basically where your axis of symmetry is. Um, so we use our zeros over here to find the, um, the the vertex x value, and then I use my vertex x value in the, st in the factored form or standard form to find um, the vertex itself, which is 2, negative 9, 
and then I can go and replace this in here um, with the appropriate value. Don't forget the a I obtained from the x squared value over here as well, so our a is 1. Um, and then you can go and you can sketch this by using some key points. So for example, you might have used um, the key point, um, uh, you might have used your, your zeros, so you might have used 5, 0. So let's try that out. So 5, 0 over here. And then we have um, negative 1, 0 over here. And then we have a vertex which is 2, negative 9. So 2 and negative 9 about over here. And then we can just gently uh, sketch the parabola. We could also find our y-intercept actually. We have our standard form. So that would be uh, 0, negative 5. So we can use that as another point. So 0 and negative 5 over here. Then we can just sketch that gently. And then back up this way. And there's a rough sketch of our parabola with the vertex over here, our zeros over here, and over here. In the next chapter, we're actually going to learn a method that allows us to go from standard to vertex directly. But for now, you have to use a variety of different pieces of information in order to do that. So hopefully this video was helpful and you um, were able to review the different forms of quadratic relations, standard, factored, vertex, and what all the different information can tell you. Hopefully you can also do some word problems using the different skills that we learn in this unit. Um, and we'll learn some more skills in the next unit, but you still need to know this information here um, in order to understand what the next unit's all about. As you, as you, as you could have seen, all the chapters relate to each other as they all relate to quadratic relationships um, at this point.